If you don't like cats, it's because you don't like things that you can't control. And I think that says everything I need to know about you. Hey y'all, it's Conan Gray, and today I'm gonna to be roasting your dating profiles for Cosmo. Don't listen to any of my advice and anything that I say, please don't take personally, I don't know you. First up, we have Naran, 23 years old, from North Plainfield. Don't know where that is. Sexual orientation, straight, singer-songwriter, red flag, seeking a long-term relationship. As a singer-songwriter, I don't think so. Okay, Oh, If this is the first picture, I think you've done a great job because I audibly said aw, because look how sweet and nice you look. Great hair, beautiful, beautiful face. Just, just great all around. New York City, I think, question mark? It's like a very Gen Z pose. It's like, oh, I'm just here. Like, I'm just standing here, whatever. Like, oh, what? Oh, there's a camera, what? <laughs> the only thing is like, do I learn that much about you from this picture? I don't know. I learned that you carry big tote bags, which actually says a lot about you. If I had to guess what was in this bag, I would say, honestly, probably like a copy of Normal People by Sally Rooney, some pen, like a notebook that you bring around everywhere, but you actually don't write anything in it because why would you write anything in a notebook in today's modern age? Next picture is a little intimidating, but I understand that that's maybe a good side to show. You can be scary. You can be intense, but also you look great in it. So maybe that's exactly what needs to be done. Next one is me in the wild. This is the best picture on here. It says a little about your personality. You like pigs. That's important because God forbid you date someone who doesn't like pigs. All right, let's take a look at how she answered her prompts. I want someone who is intentional and compassionate. I don't know, don't we all though? 80% of people on dating profiles are just looking for like a little morsel of validation, so maybe if you're looking for someone intentional and compassionate, I don't know if you should even be on this app. <laughs> Best travel story. Went on a solo trip to Japan, visited a karaoke bar, and was the only person there. Spent the night singing with the owner. That's really sweet. I would rather die than experience that. This tells me a lot about yourself. You're brave, you're outgoing, you like to make connections. I don't like any of those things. This is a really sweet story. And this is great. This is exactly what should be on a dating profile. I geek out on many things, but mainly movies, music, and anime. Yeah, don't we all love movies, I think? But maybe they don't, and if they don't, then God. My overall take on Naran is that you are a beautiful, very lovely woman. This is an absolutely swipeable profile. This is like great, sweet, unintimidating, nice. I would be like, yeah, for sure. Next profile, we have Aiden. Location, Greenpoint, seeking men, occupation, actor. Let's get into the photos. First picture. Aiden, this picture is blurry, but I do kind of feel like this picture is giving really neutral, so I don't know. I don't know what the vibe of you is yet, and we're gonna find out. Next picture. Fun, in front of a backdrop, purple. You must love the color purple, and there are purple people out there, and they're very passionate about being purple. This tells me a lot more about you as a person. I like you already. Next one. Oh, shirtless. The environment of this bathroom, it's foul. I feel like you can tell a lot about someone from like what they have in their shower. Various shampoos, I love that. It's good to know that you wash your hair. There's a razor I think I see in there. You have sock. <laughs> so maybe we don't need the shirtless picture on here. Like maybe the sock should have been removed from the tub. Maybe you're looking for people who love a sock on a tub. Do I want the sock to be gone? Yeah, I do. I do want the sock to be gone. Next one, a cat picture. This is great. I love cat people. If you don't like cats, it's because you don't like things that you can't control. And I think that says everything I need to know about you. Oh, you know, they're so unpredictable. Yeah, so are people. So are human beings. Like, oh, you only want something that worships you like a god? Yeah, okay, narcissist. So basically, I love you, you're great. Thank God you have a cat. Let's move on to see how they answered the prompts. What if I told you that I have an android? We can tell. The pictures told us everything. Android users, fine. Can you FaceTime them? No. Can you text them in a regular way? No. Can you speak with them? No. But they're usually quite good people, I feel like. Unless they're like really intense about it. Like, I have an Android and they're better than iPhones. Calm down. My simple pleasures, iced coffee, check. Spending time in the sauna, psychopath. My cat, check. Good lighting. <laughs> 
the occasional day in bed. Ah, oh, one of my people. I meet people who go in saunas and I'm like, yeah, you seem like the type of person who goes in a sauna. My favorite line from a movie. What's your favorite scary movie? Parentheses, no, but answer the question. Is it from like Scream or something? People who love scary movies, I, I can't imagine they could get along with people who hate them. But I feel like every scary movie person has a person who can't watch scary movies. If someone answers this and is, says, I hate scary movies, don't don't put them down yet. Just let, let them cook. Aiden's profile, you seem great, seem like you could really find a person that's great for you because your profile was very in-depth and I feel like it was intentional and compassionate, but swipeable. Good. Minus the sock. Get rid of the sock. Magdalena, 27, from the Upper West Side of New York. Occupation, marketing at sustainability consulting firm. I just learned how to read yesterday. Long-term and short-term relationship is what you're looking for. Her words, kind of figuring it out as I go. So, commitment issues. First picture, you look beautiful. This is a beautiful dress. Drinking a glass of wine. The smile is saying, yeah, I, I can see through you. I can see through everything that you know. Life outtake. It's a picture of you on a boat with your friend. You look like you've had a wonderful day. I think you're like in Amsterdam or something. I feel like generally, like you should just leave your friends out of your dating profiles. Cause like, why? Third picture, a selfie. Gotta love a selfie. You're wearing a seatbelt. It's good to know that you're safe. I think she's trying to tell you. <laughs> that says a lot, it says a lot. Last picture, mirror picture. I love a mirror picture. I think this is great. I think this is a work of art. Now let's get on to the prompts. I'm looking for someone who will always get a sweet treat with me. Ah, I'll do that with you. Don't you worry, I will do that with you anytime. After every meal, my body says, you're not done eating. You haven't eaten a little piece of chocolate. A life goal of mine, own land and raise chickens and cows. Should we get married? Should we? Because this sounds great. This sounds like a life. The one thing I'd love to know about you is what was your favorite after school snack? Hmm. This is a good question. I feel like it'll tell you a little, like some people are like carrots and ranch people and other people are like ants on a log. And <laughs> other people are like, I didn't eat after school snacks. My life was hard. Someone's favorite after school snack, I think says a lot about their socioeconomic location. <laughs> if they're like, love to pack of Oreos. Okay, rich, <laughs> rich person. If you ate Oreos after school, like how do you enjoy buying Prada bags all day? Is it nice? <laughs> if their answer is like normal, like peanut butter and jelly, you're like, okay. I didn't grow up with money, so I'd probably like feel comforted if like an answer is something kind of in that range. My overall takeaway is great, fine, wonderful, very swipeable. In fact, I think I just did. Cameron, age 26. Location, New York. Straight, student, open to whatever, I guess. Cameron, this first picture is, I'm not gonna say it's your best work, but maybe it is, and we'll find out later. You know, I, I'm kind of into the crop, actually. I think it's kind of, yeah, I'm a little different. I'm a little different. Second picture. This is fun. I think it says that you're fun and lighthearted. I'm not fun and lighthearted. I don't drink. Although maybe this is just a lot of apple juice. Could be, you look like someone who likes apple juice. I like that about you. Third picture. See, this one you look really good in. I love the like kind of the film photo vibe. You're on a roof. I like this one. I think actually out of all of them, you look most pleasant and approachable and happy here. I just always like the ones of people smiling though. So maybe like, maybe that just makes me uncool. This picture of Larry David, your best work. You've never looked better. And I think you should start with this one actually. Now let's move on to the prompts. Something about me is I'll talk about me on a date. You and me. I don't know. If I don't know what to talk about, I'm gonna talk about myself. <laughs> Actually, this is good and it prepares people for what your day is gonna be like. My top Spotify artist, 2 Chains and Alex G. This says everything. This says everything. You can delete everything else. Cameron, this says everything and I like you. You have duality. You have depth. You probably don't shower. <laughs> but do you need to with music taste like this? I don't think so. I think this is fine. Overall takeaway on this profile, delete everything. Just leave this last one and the picture of Larry David and I guarantee you're gonna have all of New York City. All right, now we're gonna build my dating profile. Name, Justin Bieber. Age, 37. Location, your mom's house. Occupation, jester. I'm seeking Magdalena. 
<laughs> First picture would be maybe a mirror picture. Maybe it needs to be a mirror picture because I was talking a lot of big talk about this mirror picture, so maybe it's a mirror picture. Second picture, probably a picture of me with a cat. My third picture will be probably like a picture of me like in front of a mirror with some socks in my bathtub. <laughs> like probably if I'm trying to like attract the right crowd. My last picture on the profile would be your mom and she's smiling with me. <laughs> the key to my heart is you're never gonna get it and I'm never gonna give it to you. I think people are gonna take that as a challenge and they're gonna really fight to try to get my heart. The weirdest thing about me is that I can do this thing with my hand. Weirdest gift I've ever given. One time for my best friend's birthday, we baked a very large sombrero made out of cookie dough. It was delicious. I think that's a pretty good gift. Alrighty, that's my profile. I hope you love me. Thank you for roasting some profiles with me. Don't go on dating apps at all, actually. You're fine. Just walk around on the streets naked. You'll figure it out.